what are the last two digits of 441 whole to the power of 73 so we have to find out what are the last two digits of 441 to the power of 73 so whenever we have a number which is ending with unit digit as one whatever may be the power you have the steps what we are going to follow will give us the last two digits let us see that what will be our answer i'll write down the number what is given to us that is 441 whole to the power of 73 now the last two digits of this number will be the unit digit will be one always it is fixed and the tens digit is given by the product of the number to the left side of 1 and the unit digit of the power we multiply them 4 into 3 that is equals to 12 now from that take the unit digit the unit digit is 2 so the last two digits of 441 whole to the power of 73 is equal to 21 let us do one more example like this so there are some more examples to understand this the first one we are considering is 231 whole to the power of 48. Now what will be the answer for this? The unit digit will be coming as 1 and the tenth digit will be coming from the product of the unit digit of the power multiplied with the number which is just to the left side of 1. This is 3 into 8, 24 from 24 we have to pick only the unit digit so the answer will be 41 let us do one more we have 5671 whole to the power of 89 the unit digit will be 1 and coming to the 10th place digit we have unit digit is 9 in the power and in 10th place we have 7 these two we need to multiply 7 nines are 63 and we will take only unit digit from there so your answer will be 31 let's go to the next one 1 2 3 1 whole to the power of 7 7 4 the unit digit is 1 and the unit digit in the power is 4 and the tenth digit in the given number is 3 3 into 4 is 12 we will take only unit digit from there so that is 21 let's go to the next one 4561 to the power of 56 again unit digit is 1 now the unit digit in the power is 6 and the digit to the left of 1 that is 10th place digit is 6 6 6 or 36 from 36 we will take only unit digit so our answer will be 61 let's take the last example we have 6,78,931 to the power of 23,45,678 I have taken this weird number just to stress the point that it doesn't matter how many digits are there in the number or the power we are interested that the unit digit is always 1 and the next digit is coming from product of the unit digit from the power and the tenth digit from the number that is 3 into 8 24 we will take only the unit digit from here that means that is 41 so these are the some examples where we can understand that if we want to find out the last two digits of any number which is ending with 1 to the power of any other number we can easily find out the last two digits the unit digit of such number will be always 1 and the tenth digit or the second digit will be coming from the product of unit digit from the power multiply with digit in the tenth place from the number and taking the unit place from there only the unit digit from there 
and placing it to the left side of 1 we are getting the last two digits now once we understood the steps we have to follow now let us see why this logic works let's try to understand by taking this example 441 whole to the power of 73 where we said that unit digit is 1 and the 10th digit is coming from 3 into 4 12 unit digit of 12 is 2 so the number answer is 21 the last two digits of 441 whole to the power of 73 is 21 now let's understand how we are able to derive that particular steps that how we know that let's understand that in detail to move forward we will be using the binomial expansion so i'll write down what is binomial expansion formula suppose we have 1 plus x whole to the power of n we want to find out that is given by n c 0 1 to the power of n multiplied with x power 0 plus n c 1 1 to the power of n minus 1 which is obviously 1 only then we have x power 1 like that we have n c 2 1 power n minus 2 is 1 so we can write down x square like that this continues till we reach the n digits now we are interested only in the first two digits because these are the digits which are going to give us the unit place and tenth place of the or the last two digits of the whatever the number we want and also remember that nc0 is equal to 1 and nc1 is equals to n if you are not aware of the binomial quotients so let's go ahead and do this one so we'll write down that 441 as 1 plus 440 to the power of 73 now you compare we have x equals to 440 and n equals to 73 what is our first term first term nc0 is 1 into 1 to the power of n that is nothing but 1 into x to the power of 0 that is 440 to the power of 0 that is also 1 so when we multiply all of this we are getting just 1 that's why our unit digit is 1 now let's go to the next term that is this term nc1 that is nothing but n we said and what is our n our n is 73 so 73 multiply with 1 to the power of n minus 1 is 1 multiply with x x is nothing but 440 so we have to get from here the last two digits here and we will be adding them so from here we got 1 into 1 into 440 whole to the power of 0 that is nothing but 1 now you come here we have 73 into 44 into 10 now if, if i remove the 10 basically i am moving to the 10th digit place so 73 into 44 what will be the unit digit that is nothing but coming from 3 into 4 now this 3 into 4 is what we are saying that we need to multiply i hope you understood the logic behind that now what happens this will be 3 4s are 12 3 4s are 12 into 10 120 we have if i take 10 also 120 plus 1 is 121 the last two digits are 21 now what happens when you go to the next terms the next terms are having 440 square 440 cube that means they will not be contributing to either the unit digit or the tenth digit of 441 to the power of 73 so the unit digit is coming from here and the tenth digit is coming from here that's why we are able to say that if we want to find out the last two digits of 441 to the power of 73 the unit digit is 1 and the tenth digit is coming from unit digit of product of 3 into 4 where 3 is the unit digit here and 4 is the tenth place digit from the number 3 4s are 12 you are taking only the unit digit from there because you understood now we have 121 and from there we are taking only 21 so this is how we can find out the last two digits of 
any number which is having unit digit as 1 and raise it to any power easily with this with this particular steps we can easily find out the last two st digits